Hey. Ghost Cat, I want to say this is the day the Lord has made and rejoice. Uh, uh, I, except for, I cannot rejoice too much um, because I'm trying to forget about this Todd Taylor who stole, literally stole and blackmailed. I would say extort a thousand dollars for me, uh, put me through so much headache. Uh, hassles, heartache, and uh, try to scare me and make, you, you know, emergency claims like crisis actors. I'm talking about real crisis actor, like, oh, 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 your, your house is going to explode. You ever been to a car, a car shop? They say your car is going to explode if you don't uh, do this or do that. Like, oh, I'm really here just for oil change. No, no, no. We're not going to let you leave here until you have all your front end redone. <laughs> That's going to be 4000 bucks. So, well, relax. Uh, I know uh, I get excited. Um, as you know, cat ling used to be Cheryl ling, no, I'm uh, Just getting a little bit of civility back. Um, since last year, I had a, a little bit of, um, uh, what do you call that, a back stair problem. Because I have a back stair here, and uh, why am I holding this? So it doesn't fall from my shoulder. I'm trying to hold, it, hold this up. This is uh, the real receipt. <laughs> the guy actually wrote the receipt. Uh, I have nothing against the guy. He was not from the Craigslist. To tell you the story was um, uh, I uh, wanted to do a little shoot in the basement, which is way down below. So when my friend Chris was here, when my other producer friend were producing Ghost Cat, because this is why you need to donate and click donate. Uh, this is why that this crisis people take advantage of you. Um, and I, I think I talked about it before. I don't know if you saw it. So I'm going to uh, literally for the very first time go down there and pray. Now pray that I don't uh, get hurt or injured or some other... Uh, you know, unsuspecting evil factors that lurk down there. Um, I was trying to show Chris this uh, basement, of which I did a shoot. I was really spooky. Uh, all right, I mean, I'm just saying this is like in the mountains. Uh, I don't even go down there that much. <laughs> but we did a shoot called The Redneck Neighbor, which uh, um, the spooky rats or uh, whatever the neighbor was uh, send them over the roof running around crazy in a basement anyways i was trying to get upstairs and that door would not open because of i suppose that either the movement of the staircase and you know this is the uh, the earth that constantly changing so don't give me the crap about climate change of course climate change i cannot tell you the other things was about global warming oh my god because then we have blizzards that go oh well let's better change to another word climate change you know, it's climate I don't know why I said it. I sound so like a lark. Changing every fucking minute. See, I always complain my voice is not high enough. So this guy literally take more time. Write this receipt. I know I chronicled everything. Um, what happened is and then I called my friend. My friend is very trustworthy. Worked for the city. I'm not going to disclose names uh, because this whole purpose of this uh, story is to let you in on what happened and uh you know i think based on it we'll have a third movie coming um i think that will be called the other one will be ghost cat is stuck um because i just came up with that one uh because we can shoot it around here this will be like uh the birth of ghost cat or somehow the death of some other you know uh, chinese crazy woman anyways I know my personality flaw. Um, this is a uh, generational, I would say, genetic code, or I don't want to say it's a curse, but my ancestors got killed over this. Um, just having a little bit of short fuse and not be able to, you know, sort of uh, be conniving, more conniving. I'm just like, ah, you did this to me. And, uh, uh, you know, that could get me killed. So with that said, I called my friend and... Uh, uh, let him know well, he, we already talked about it in the, you know with the uh, the back staircase which I'm gonna go show you hopefully I'm gonna get enough courage give me more coffee um, this was last October so this happened last October um, so my friend which I'm just gonna call him Rick um, he's 
either too busy because he's got a city job or you know his new girlfriend is very jealous of me i mean because everybody's social media i've never met the person i have no hostility and uh, you know i'm not trying to steal somebody's boyfriend as you know uh women have a certain kind of resentment and insecurity but hey i'm just an asian wonky you know what i'm saying uh i do not want to steal your white man okay that's not my prerogative anyways my prerogative is to be a patriot um you're no seriously a patriot fan um anyway i got some grass in my teeth Yes, I do eat good grass, which is like the wheat grass and the rosemary grass. Uh, that's why I like the little yard. So I'm fighting the bureaucrats to keep the yard. Um, so anyway, Rick can do it. Uh, his son was really nice and everything. So son had also um, a, uh, I guess, a friend that they grew up with in somewhere in Chicago. Um, well, I mean, I'm talking about the Rick, the older guy's friend. So I did not know all this that so-called friend let's let's just call him uh warren i don't know why i call warren um because i don't know any warren so this way in a uh, void of the story conflict oh uh, warren just got out of jail um from illinois maybe uh was on parole i really don't know now this i did not know uh for manslaughter Okay, so it's like second degree murder or whatever. Anyways, I learned this letter uh, late, later, the nitty gritties. What did I say, letter? Well, because they wrote me a letter or I wrote them a letter. Uh, no, they, uh, well, when I say the son came, um, you know, helped me reasonably charge to uh, rig the pipes and everything. So that's how I knew this person, Warren, that I call him Warren. <laughs> um, but if you're on my Facebook, you'll know his name because... You know, in real life, uh, he definitely connived, uh, not just ripped me off, but connived and conjure up a scheme. Uh, so that is, that's a thing that, um, uh, that is not pardonable. And then he also used God's name to curse and swear, um, you know, on this deal that he swore. Because you think I'm stupid, basically. I don't, I mean, hey, I'm not a genius. But I was not born last night. I mean, I had this property for eight years. I heard a lot of stories. And, you know, people try to say that, oh, it's going to fall like, you know, a one uh, little wind blown. Um, so they want, you know, they think I have money. In fact, I'm just a poor uh, <laughs> little China wonky. <laughs> um, so uh, this uh, Warren came over uh, on the recommendation of this uh, good friend I knew for 10 years and uh, or um, that really you know did everything right before reasonably helped me change a water heater uh even the ring he was a good guy uh on this saturday did not like you know try to gouge me gouging is one thing but to conjure up another crisis another thing um i think anyways nobody's perfect i understand that i believe in second chances i believe this is what happened uh this friend rick uh, the, the you know expert um you know, who work for the city, who has a good job, and uh, who's got, got a new girlfriend. Hey, congratulations. Send his friend over. So the trust is there. For, for me to trust this guy is there to begin with. And I trust most white people. I like white guys. I mean, this is really screw up for, you know, the red neck thing. Uh, well, now I realize that serial killers, they're very charming. How do you think they get into, like, these uh, uh, women's dorms? That They're very charming people. So this guy was very charming. Um, anyways, Warren uh, uh, was sent by uh, Rick, you know, the, the, the friend. I came over, he said, the first thing that this is going to be in the movie I'm going to write for just for this, is, oh, isn't that great? We have not forgotten about you, honey. So that's going to be the headline uh, in our movie. Oh, we have not forgotten about you, honey. So he's like very, like, um, uh, what do you call, like, trustworthy looking. Uh, so he wants to survey the, the staircase, which we're going to do, but I will, I will ask, since I'm going to go there with my selfie stick, uh, I have to ask somebody to make sure I come back. Okay, I'm going to knock on his... I'm going to knock on his window. I know I was like, not happy about him, but uh, this, this way. He might... Um... Hey! Yeah! How are you? I Yeah, I'm going to go survey it myself. Just make sure that I come back and give you a knock. Okay, meaning that I come back safely. 
okay? I'm just going downstairs to survey the the um, abandoned uh, stuff, equipment by uh, this guy. Well, like the whole day, if I don't come back the whole day. I'll give you a knock when I come back. I'm going to be there for like a, a 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Okay? Okay, so... <laughs> Uh, the I mean, you know, it should not be this uh, scary, but it was scary because I got that phone call. Um, well, the guy took advantage of me, but he got angry. You know, some people they're just they're just evil. Uh, I totally, as I was telling you, I believe in the power of redemption. Uh, if you guys remember, I talked about Le Miserap, the movie, uh, which I really think that is. Uh, I don't want to fall down. See how steep that is. <laughs> A uh, total example of redemption. I might have to tie in this uh, cheapy little selfie. Pardon me, a dollar twenty-seven shipped from China. Uh, don't try to be sensational, but this is how I am in my yard, and uh, that's pretty steep down there. So he was supposed to fix this gas line. Uh, anyway, don't let me fall down. This gas line that um, supposedly. Go down to, did you see the horseshoe? Okay, so he, what he was supposed to do is just retread that horseshoe. Not retread it, put the gas line underneath, but in order to do that, he doesn't know what he's talking about. He has to take this whole piece out, go to the gas meter, and we have to shut the gas, you see? So, that, I mean, you know, you can promise all you want. You can promise me the, the freaking NASA, the sky, and uh, you know, the Captain Marvel space shoot. Um, but it's not going to happen. So uh, plumbers can do it. But he's not a plumber. But I had confidence that uh, since he knew the, the other person who's a really good plumber, Rick. Uh, Rick could help him. But anyways, he persuaded that Rick was going to help him. So that was part of the deal that was uh, $400. Okay. And then, well, last time I was down here remember uh step on the bunch of dog shit and i went and yelled at the next door neighbor uh i didn't yell at them he, he, the guy just came out and said i just happened to run into them at night uh the guy says oh my dog was not my dog my dog was in las vegas he didn't shit in your yard <laughs> my dog was in vegas for a month well your dog wasn't in vegas for a month he probably want a lot of money and uh, you can hire a dog nanny walk your dog don't let him poop over my yard you see what I'm saying <laughs> uh, Teresa is a very good friend I, I know sh oh shit I can hear that oh my god there's bees a hundred thousand of them up there oh my god that's frightening we better we better go and get out of there um, there's a lot of bees so oh my god dog shit is still there a uh, hundred thousand bees up there. I can hear them. I don't know. Shh. Can you hear them? Ooh. Okay, we'll have to watch out for um, dog shit and rattlesnake. This, way, this is what I'm talking about. This is a jungle out here. And um, um, see, this is his dog shit next door. Anyway, I found the dog shit. There's a glove. Ooh, I better be careful. So I'm going to turn the camera towards me and see if they got their their uh, so-called the uh, the tools. Oh no, oh no, there's some uh, some more dog shit. Um, there's a big hole dug there probably by uh, some raccoon or something. So see that, this is very steep, this yard. And uh, people usually, you know, we don't come out here that often. My dream is to be able to level all this as I'm going I don't want to run into ice cream just in case ever anything happens. Ah! <laughs> uh, so this guy, uh, Warren, the bad guy, the guy that got out of jail, I found out later he was in for manslaughter. God knows if he escaped from prison out of, uh, of the penitentiary or he was really on parole. I have no idea. I have no clue. Oh, my God. Not that I'm discriminating, like I said, I believe in second chances. But, you know, say if it was me got released out of jail, I'm, I'm not patting myself on the back. I'm just saying there's some, they're fishy about people's genetic compound. It's like some people are just bad seeds. I used that word yesterday. 
Uh, I'm sorry, I've ran into people like that. They're very impressive. They can talk the talk, really talk the charm the shit out of you. Like that guy uh, I was telling you that said, honey, you are in good hands. Um, so this is what happened. Oh my God, they're, they're, they're being allergic. See, all this, all this that came down and he abandoned everything. He abandoned this. Um, all this material, he actually cut the legs and uh, he did not weld them. He just bolted it. All that stuff up there, the cinder block, the fake crisis. See the little crack on the other side, on my side? Because what he did is uh, he actually made it worse, I think. Um, he dug and dug into the depths of the earth and they put a so-called come along on the on the foundation to help to pull this ladder up. This is what I uh, I try to explain to you. So the ladder had came like um, what do you call undone and uh, misaligned. Does you say misaligned? And therefore, this is the my POV. I'm going up the stairs, up the ladder. Okay, I can show you. What happened is, see that because it's misaligned, see that? So he put, now that he cannot take everything off, I guess they took the come along, but they didn't take this off. So that's still there. And there is absolutely no cement there. Have, have a good look. I know I did not clean the lens totally properly, but I believe you can see that. It was like that, that's not part of foundation that's supposed to be hanging. And uh, since I lived here, like I said, for e eight years, I talked to different contractors. There's nothing you can do. Uh, you're not supposed to mess with it because this whole thing is HD. You know what HD means? Because <laughs> uh, now I can tout my uh, um, knowledge in construction a little bit. So. They do not, when I say, the, at least one thing I know, California, um, it, you know, it's too strict in permitting buildings, um, especially nowadays because of earthquake. So they would not permit you to build on the hillside. This was built like uh, 88 or 90, something like that. And it, I believe they had a heck of a time because I researched the documents that they submitted with the builders, McKenna or something, I forgot it. You know, there's just like different, uh, engineers that plot the plan that bought this uh, piece of property. Uh, again, I'm not rich. It just happened, you know, to stumble upon it and see if this door opens. So this is a door I was telling you about. Nobody locked it, hopefully. See that? See the bottom? Okay, so all we did is, this is really the fix. Instead of pulling the staircase, we just like, scrape off the bottom. That's all. That's really all we did. That's all I did. I said, fuck it. Because there's so much agony. Oh, that's a good view, though. Uh, dealing with these people. See, that's a pretty good view. I don't know if you can see it. So I wanted to do the shoot here. He still left his water bottle. He left all the stuff. I believe they did get their gear. Um, I'm supposed to change the filter, but I don't want to do it. What is that there? I don't know. They left something. Uh, Y'all. Oh, it's mine. <laughs> Um, this was changed by, by my good friend uh, in the raining day with his son on the Saturday. He's like, no problem. He went and got one. And uh, for a 50-gallon water heater, um, I think he only charged me 800 I mean, I know the cost of it, the cost of his cost was like 600 for 50-gallon. Okay, so what I'm saying is my friend, he's honest to me. And uh, you ought to know. So... Uh, because of that does not mean the next person that you should trust in. So I said there was two scenarios. Is one is my friend, let's just call him Rick, the, the plumber that I trusted, had resentment towards me, so told his friend who like knock on the door after he escaped from prison, maybe, <laughs> or on parole, I don't know, um, that go ahead and rip off cat. Ooh, because it wouldn't get cut. So go ahead and sew a bunch of bullshit and tear down her uh, staircase. Because uh, we talked about the staircase thing a long time ago. I said I was going to use the so-called come along to pull it, you know, to pull pull the staircase up. Uh, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. All your construction geniuses out there. I know that you got me going because I got my coffee thing. 
See, this is. Remember, I told you this would be great for a shoot. Oh, yeah! What's up? Wow! All right, so I'm closing that shop and、uh, lock this door. Uh, this was good for a little. I want to make sure this actually works. I have a key. Sorry, I have an old key, and、uh, I don't want to lose this.、Uh, otherwise, I can't get in. So don't lose this key, cause it it works. Did you see that?、Um, anyway, now try to be sensational. So so I turn off the lights. You see, see, very disciplined. Close it, and look, this is my POV. Okay, so. <laughs> To make the story longer, of course, you know I'm so excited right now、uh, because this is gonna be my next movie, gonna be shot around here.、Um, what happened is the the uh, uh, the uh, ex gone guy brought his other friend because after three days he didn't show up. Remember he he says, oh well, I gotta go get material by the gas line and、uh, by the cinder blocks. All this time he knew, he knew. He was staying with Rick, right? He knew Rick has this cinder block, so he didn't buy anything.、Uh, and then he called me over. He bugged me. He nagged me.、Uh, he said, "Oh, I can't do anything with the、uh, whatever the come along wooden pole." Which I said, "That's not a bad thing. That means、uh, the staircase, according to the engineer, they are correct. It's not going anywhere. I know there's deformity, but it's not going anywhere. It's freaking bolted. That's why there is a foundation down there." Bolted to the center of the earth, so、um, I guess if it was proven that him digging the dirt really didn't worth it, was not worth it, cutting the legs, the、uh, um, you know, he was just gonna leave them hanging like that, and this boat on the side.、Um, I was a little frustrated. If it was me taking this job, I would say, you know, look, I just won't charge you anything. No, but you know what he did? He nagged me that afternoon. He refused to leave. He created a crisis. He said, "This house is gonna explode if I don't get cinder blocks right there." I mean, come on. I call. I try to get away from the guy, but for twenty minutes,、um, you know, you, you can just say no. But、uh, he was very persistent. I even called the next door landlord, who is, by the way, a developer. That's why he got this for like for free. That house for free.、Uh, I talked to him before. I also say, I say, look. If we're gonna go in on this, that you know, if this、uh, place is gonna explode, your explode, yours are,、uh, are gonna explode too because we're connected. You see, we're connected up there.、Um, so the builder, engineer, whoever built these two houses together, conjoined them, and which is good in a way because that is the high beam, the so-called HD foundation. I have been had that verified, and that's why this place. If you take away every piece of dirt, rock. It will still stand. It will be just like the house on the stilts. Okay, so with that said, so he created a crisis. I go fuck. Anyways, he refused to leave. He said I will do that next morning.、Uh, the concrete or whatever. He was so persistent. Took another four hundred from me. I mean, he would not leave until I got up there, write him a check for four hundred dollars. And guess what? Nothing happened. The guy just、uh, goofed off because I I wrote a journal. I mean, you know, after Kavanaugh, I know it's important to write a journal. I wrote like ten twenty-three.、Um, I mean, ten thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. This is what happened. Didn't show up. I called, and guess what happened? I mean, this guy is good. He he maneuvered、uh, my friend who has a truck. You know, because you know, he said I, I don't have a truck. Well, he barely he he barely got a free loader car. I suppose that was his payment for doing、uh, my friend's girlfriend's kitchen. All right, so、uh, this is what I learned. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't want to gossip, but that would be in my story too. The girlfriend's mom passed, and they had an old, like a Buick Oldsmobile or something like that. Anyway, so he drove it. So just think about the guy is,、um, you know, a, a convict. I, I, again, I'm not talking bad about people who have criminal records. I'm just saying sometimes there are bad seeds. I've dealt with other people before in the past. I tried to help them, but they stabbed me in the end. They stole from me, and not that this is like. It's very sad. I mean, this is not like to say don't trust anybody, don't redeem them. It's、uh, so called they they release the early release because you have such a good heart. You die hard、uh, liberals. <laughs> Sometimes you'll get us killed.、Um, so this is what happened.
These cinder blocks were delivered by his friend, dropped out by his friend. And then he lied to me, now the, the, uh, the guy I'm talking about, like I call him Warren. He said, I was there, I was there at uh, nine o'clock and you were sleeping, seven o'clock or whatever. He said he put in the concrete. In fact, he said, cause I asked him, I said, how big are the size of the concrete? And uh, uh, he said he had 10 bags note. And then he said, no, in fact, I bought 20 bags. And he described how big they're, you know, they were like those, uh, uh, like you get them at Home Depot, the big ones. Um, you know, I was not born last night, I have to tell you the truth. I mean, I know you, at least you need a mixer, a wheelbarrow. You cannot possibly get in and out in 20 minutes and there's no way to get here. You already saw that, how hard it is to get here. Uh, he did that in uh, uh, that morning. I didn't hear a thing, didn't hear a peep. So I just have a reasonable, logical question. Not that I question your integrity still, but I did not like to be hustled another $400 for things that I don't need. Just like a freaking uh, oil change and turn into a front end thing, uh, or your car will explode. The house will literally explode without this. So with that said, there was not one drop of concrete. Okay, but he, you know what he did? He swore, he said, I swore not just 10 bags, 20 bags, swore on his mother's grave, swore on the Bible. So, God deal with him. Now, uh, not that I'm not forgiving, I'm just saying people think I'm stupid. I don't want to be taken stupid. But this could hurt me because the guy was, uh, was literally suggestively threatened me. Because he said, oh, I'm such a good hunter. I hunt with bow and arrow. I carry my bow and arrow so I can take care of business. And then he even told me that how he strong armed, ki almost killed somebody, broke him in pieces. That's why he was in jail. Um, so with that said, okay, I'm going downstairs. I mean, there, there's a fear tactic. He actually, uh, you know, even, uh, talked to my, my, uh, roommate about that too. Like, you know, try to, try to scare him a little bit. Like, you know, okay, if I took advantage, it's almost like a subtle message. You see what I'm saying? Like the mafia, so they'll tell you. Oh, yeah, yeah, you don't want to be sleeping with the fishes. You see what I'm saying? Like, da, 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 da. Oh, yeah, he talked too much and sleep with the fishes. So he's, like, saying, like, keep it hush, hush. Uh, he kept, you know, again, it goes back to, was it a conspiracy? Like, was my friend, like, told him to just fuck with me? Uh, because every time I said, well, I'm going to tell, I'm going to call my friend and just tell him, I said, what's going on? Um, and uh, this guy got really scared. He changed the whole countenance change. He said, don't you, don't you call Rick. Don't you call Rick. Uh, Cause he think I have an affair maybe. He said, well, then Brenda would know. I mean, <laughs> that's uh, supposedly the girlfriend um, and uh, she might come after you and that sort of thing, you know. So I could barely come out here. And he littered everything. Now it's gone because they came by here at night. And that's why I, it prompted me to come here and see the dirt he dug and because the rain has gotten worse. So he cut um, the legs of the stairs for no good reason. I mean, literally cut out, you know, two pieces. I made an analogy about that. I said, you know, as if uh, what's, what happened is if you go to your doctor and say, um, hey, I, I guess I, I'm out of alignment. I'm not moving. My joint is not moving properly or something like that. You know how sometimes you say, oh, my neck is out of the line. They just, I like, freaking cut it off. They just cut off your legs. It's stupid. He cut off a huge chunk. Um, so what happened to, you know, my friends, uh, thousands and thousands of dollars uh, worth of equipment. He let, let this guy out. I mean, I can understand. Now, you know, let's just talk about, I mean, just be brutally honest, my friend. Uh, was actually thinking very shrewdly. Okay, so Rick, Ricky, or what? Uh, uh, Warren. I was saying Warren because I got to make up these names on the fly. I had no place to stay. I let him stay, and he worked for free, basically. Uh, but this guy's probably on drugs. He's very conniving. I'm positive he's on drugs. Uh, he said he smoked pot or whatever. So I'm not. I'm not. You know. I'm just saying. I'm not judgmental. I cannot smoke pot. I cannot smoke downers. But. There is a warping of the chemicals that is called the spirit of pharmacia. So what should we do? We should pray for the guy. Just break this lying spirit because basically all the father of liar is Satan. So I break the demonic scheme of Satan. I mean, I don't, 
uh, I have I have to try to see through the person and see that there is a, another realm, another power. So we break that spirit of pharmakia and lying spirit, who's the devil, in Jesus' name. From this, uh, I have to say his name. <laughs> um, now I've got to watch my step because I have to head, head this way. So he literally strewn across the thing everywhere. Uh, blackmail me the money. Sometimes you just uh, say, like, take the money and go away. You know what I'm saying? Um, but that, you will never get a referral. And not only that, I'm just saying, why would you do that if you really want to start over? I would be like, you know, in fear and trembling. Because if I, I don't like prison. I mean, you know, when I was young, uh, I was arrested. And I don't like it when they uh, tie your, they put the handcuffs too tight purposefully. Just, uh, you know, make you squirm a lot. So... I can understand that. I mean, I don't want to be, not be able to see sunlight or, and all that kind of stuff. You want your freedom, but it's what you do with it. If you really want the second chance, your friend is actually taking you in, uh, a fair, really nice guy, giving you a second chance so you can like, you know, earn some money because you can't get a job as an ex-con. So he's referring uh, me, which I became a victim, literally. <laughs> ah, dog shit! Dog shit, dog shit! Damn dog from next door. Oh, I, okay, I gotta get back there fast because, like I said, it's a jungle up here with all the um, the bees. I did kill the bees. Oh my god, the bees are crazy. They are crazy. They will hurt you because uh, these bees are very evil. They're not like, um, what do you call those, uh, honey bees? These are wasps. They're very badass. Okay, I survived it. I'm gonna lock on, knock on the window so he know I'm good. Okay, I'm alive. Thank you. That's the. Uh, I'm just saying. You need to never know, because uh, the guy physically threatened me. Um, well, I mean not physical, but you know, in your windows, like like I said. In a conversation like, oh, somebody uh, slept with the fishes or whatever. Somebody who ragged on me. Uh, slept with the fishes. You know, hey, Tony, Tony. Hey, whatever happened to uh, uh, Mojo? Mojo. Oh, yeah. I uh, put some cement shoes on him. So now that he's sleeping with the fishes at the bottom of the Hudson River. <laughs> That's not a good way to end. Uh, okay, I'm going to stop here.